Hello YouTubers, beer geeks and beer hounds alike. Bill here and we're going to do a beer review. And today we got Union Jack IPA by Firestone Walker. And uh, this one here comes in at 7% ABV. And um, it's uh, West Coast style. Long live IPA, beer before glory. Blah, 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 blah. So anyways, it says keep cold, drink fresh, beer before glory. Ow! It says a bottled on. Uh, uh, B2080219. So I'm thinking that would be August 2nd, 2019. So, and today is August 26th, so it's super fresh, like three weeks old. I got this in a six pack at Total Wine and More for um, $7.99 before tax, so out the door is about eight bucks, or less than eight bucks. I've had this beer before. Um, I do recall I enjoyed it. Uh, this is very early on in my um, craft beer extravaganza. And uh, yeah, that's what the label looks like. I wish they'd put it in cans. I don't know why they're fucking around with bottles anymore. They should know by now cans are much better than bottles. And most craft beer drinkers should know that too by now. But they're still putting it in dumbass bottles. So it is what it is. Um, well... Oh yeah, there's what the cap looks like. I do recall it was a tasty beer. But, it's been a long time since, since I had it and I've never reviewed it. So let's get it cracked open and see what we got here, ladies and genitalia. Firestone Walker makes pretty awesome beers. So I'm looking forward to uh, reuniting with this puppy right here. Let's get it in the glass and see what we got cracking here. I can smell hops already. This is probably like the freshest I've ever had it. Uh, I could imagine what it would be like uh, in a can. You can see I'm kind of hostile towards bottles, of course. Who wouldn't be? I mean, it doesn't preserve the beer. There goes the air conditioner. It's like 120 degrees in California today. Uh, We've got a nice, creamy, frothy head. Crystal clear amber color. Absolutely gorgeous looking beer. Looks real good. Got some bubbles streaming up from the bottom. Looks absolutely fantabulous. You can see the clarity. This is one sexy looking beer. Look at that. That's spot on. That is spot on, Jack. Union Jack. Would you look at that? It don't get much prettier than that. Spot on, perfect amber color. Heads turning rocky. That's a gorgeous beer. Alright, let's get an aroma on this puppy. Okay, right up front, I'm getting mainly like uh, earthy type hops and a slight touch of some piney hops. Yeah, and some like earthy spice spices and the, the pininess is there. And maybe just a slight touch of some kind of a guava type hop note. That's what I got. Heads turned rocky. Cheers, let's get a rip. One more time. Oh, 
Okay. All right. Wow. That's much that's much better than I remembered it. It's probably cuz it's like 3 weeks old, but that's really freaking tasty. It's leaving a nice lacing on the glass. It's got excellent head retention. Well, the taste follows the aroma perfectly um, with the earthy spice hops with the slight piney note. Cheers. got a medium mouthfeel, real crisp, clean tasting. Um, it's got a very slight kind of onion, kind of garlic note in there, very slight. But then there's that kind of pininess coming through those earthy spice hops. I'm even picking up a very slight kind of, just a little bit of floralness coming through there. very complex beer for seven percent that's very tasty um, this beer is pretty close to the definition of West Coast style IPA in my opinion it's kind of got the two main variables or the three main variables which would be like uh, earthy spice hops and some piney hops and then some of the some of the floralness coming through that's like in my opinion, kind of like what a West Coast style IPA is supposed to taste like and smell like. Oh yeah. That was a tasty burp right there. Cheers. Man. Yes. Yes. Triple yes. They could call it onion jack and I would understand why. It definitely has some earthy spices, oniony kind of garlicky kind of action in there. It's really tasty. Really good. Pretty complex too. that's really good well that's what I got I don't think it gets much prettier than this one that's for sure I mean that is spot-on amber clear that's that's what it's supposed to look like ladies and genitalia right there that's what night that West Coast style IPA is supposed to look like taste really awesome well, on a scale of one to five stars, I'm going to have to give this one a 4.4 .4 out of five. This is really freaking tasty. And it's pretty available anywhere. I've seen it around in a lot of places. Uh, it's pretty like pretty much a, like a mass-produced beer, but it, it's awesome taste, and, and I would definitely recommend it. Yeah, 4.4 .4 out of uh, 5 for me, and that's my story, and I'm sticking with it. Alright, everybody, I'll take it easy. We'll catch you later. Cheers.